I'm going to try sitting here contemplating all morning about what I wanted to see on this video. And this is going to be probably the last video I make for a couple of days right now. I saw it because I'm going to be busy the rest of the week uh, visiting my brother and uh, family and other things, okay? And I got some work to do. And um, so I'm thinking, what is indeed a good coach? What's a great coach? Oh. Who shot you? Separate the weak from the ops. Leap hard to creep them Brooklyn streets. It's all nigga. Fuck all that bickering beef. I can hear sweat. This is Cowboy Legend for Life coming back at you again with another video with my hopes that you like the last one. And with this, I gotta tell you. The point I'm trying to make is, is that um Mike Fisher was on that in, in that interview with Colin Cowher, and Mike Fisher was very revealing. Mike Fisher, we all know who he is, you know. He's been he's been around the Cowboys. He's a writer. He's a reporter. I think he's been in the Cowboys organization for a long time. He's in he's in he's in um, the, the Cowboys uh, organization, the locker room all the time. Speaks with the owner. He knows Mark Holmes pretty well, you know, pretty good, and all the others like Vos Lombardi and uh, the Law Nation. Okay, so he has the ends of the Cowboys in mind, and he's a he's a, he's a cow, he's a Cowboy fan, and he said something very interesting that Jason Garrett is a guy who can't. Can't let go of the past. You know what I'm saying? They they think we're back in the um, uh, Emmett Smith days with the uh, Great Wall of Dallas, and that's a fact. Okay, because here we are thinking that it's it's not. Well, we know it's not all in. It wasn't all in hand. We also know it was Jason Garrett. We thought that we can survive Garrett when Living Hand gone. Moore comes in, and guess what? Moore in his first year, 30, 29 years old, thirty years old. This guy has already got the Cowboys the first. In, uh, in the NFL and offensive um, total offense. First, even with Ezekiel Elliott, who's not been playing well this year. He's not been playing well because I'm starting to believe Skip Bayless for one thing, okay? Because he said in the last couple of seasons that Ezekiel Elliott has lost a step or two and other reasons, okay? Whatever it was or whatever it is that he's doing, he's not doing this, he's not doing what he's supposed to do. So Ezekiel Elliott, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but it scares me to say this, that he has slowed down his style of running. He has, in fact, uh, lost a step. And you know what? He picks the wrong holes. But why, why do they keep getting him up in the middle when we know that in the middle we have, though we have Frederick in the middle. Oh, no, not Frederick. Um, I forgot who it was. Um, the center. I'm talking about the, the side where Connor, Connor Williams is at. They keep throwing that weak side because Connor Williams is not that good. Okay? He's not. I don't care what Vash Lombardi tell you, he's not that good, okay? And he's going up the middle, and he, can't, you, he keeps getting trapped there. So I don't know why he doesn't bounce out like he used to do in the first two seasons, okay? He doesn't bounce out. He doesn't bounce out to the left or the right. And I think if I'm talking about the talk, um, Collins, who's playing his ass off this year, along with uh, either Frederick or, or, or Zach Martin, bounce out to the other side. But he's not doing that. And he's costing the Cowboys a lot because he's in, in the postseason last year against the Rams, he stunk the place up, okay? He didn't do nothing done. The Rams' defense wasn't that great up front because he could have bounced out anyway. He didn't do that. He stunk. Okay, that, it, it took us that to get us back in the game and almost helped to pull it out. If it wasn't for the defense again, fail, faltering at the end, all right? You know the defense faltered this game with the Vikings. He faltered. They faltered like hell, okay? And they have not been... Anywhere near what they were last season. Anywhere near it. Okay? That's a fact. Okay? Here's the thing about this. The coaching that he talked about is what Jason Garrett, Jason Garrett won't let go of the past. You understand? And this was, during the time when they were bringing that comeback in the fourth quarter, and they were passing the ball, I think Dak Prescott had like five, or six, maybe six or seven passes, and all of a sudden they got up to the 20-yard line, they started handing the ball off to Zeke. And once again, just like the entire game, he got stuffed in the backfield. Handed him off to the game. Stuffed in the backfield. Third play. Went to the sideline. You got Jason fucking Garrett there and got them more. And they wanted to try again. They were going to try a, a screenplay or something or to a side, or, 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 or to a side pass, an uh, out slant, okay? Jason, and who they threw it to? He threw it to Ezekiel Elliott, who, was, who didn't get no separation whatsoever. The guy did make a good play, but it was a good throw anyway. Ezekiel Elliott, he failed that too. You know what? What happened to last year when he had like 800 yards? What was I'm sorry, not 800 yards, but he had like 80, 80 uh, receptions or something like that, 70 receptions. He's not been getting any receptions this year at all. So I don't know what happened to that. 
If you're going to get them involved, why not get them off out of the slant, out of the scat from the backfield into, into the game to, to catch? So I don't know what's going on with that. But then again, I'm not going to question it because this team and this passing game has become a lot different than they were in the past. Okay, it's a lot more slanted to the passing game than it is to the running game because Ezekiel Elliott, I don't know what's going on. All I'll tell you this is that Jason Garrett, Jason Garrett makes calls that makes no fucking sense. And you're looking at Tom Tomlin of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers got no Ben Roethlisberger. They got no Le'Veon Bell. They got no fucking uh, 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 um, Anthony Brown. You understand? And they're five and four. Ready to take command of their damn division. Get into the postseason. I believe they're going to make it. With Rudolph as a quarterback, they're going to they miss may make it. Because you know why? That is the difference in, uh, in, in coaching. The difference in coaching. Can you imagine a man who's been in the league, who's been in the same team for 10 fucking seasons? Okay? And even several seasons as an as a offensive coordinator before that, before he took over. All right? And... He's only been to the postseason three fucking times. Three. One with Romo, two with Dak, possibly the fourth time this year if they, if they hang on to it, and they continue to try to play Moore's way. Okay? But the thing is that only three in ten fucking seasons in which he actually got a goddamn coach before him fired from his bullshit. Okay? So he, so it's not Jason, it's not Jerry Jones who's been meddling, okay? It's this piece of shit. When we finally got rid of Lenahan and we, we're not in the number one offense, he's been meddling in games, especially that, if that same game don't tell you that he's a fucking meddler, okay? They went absolutely conservative in that game and they didn't need to do that. They needed to trust their quarterback. They needed to trust their fucking, uh, um, their offense on that issue. And Zeke Elliott played like shit in that game. Zeke Elliott played that shit, uh, like shit and they got that um, Green Bay Packers game. Okay? He played like shit in the Jets game. Really? He only had 105 yards against the Jets. The Jets. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to lay some blame. You can blame the Gore thing. You all go ahead and blame Dak Prescott. Who those who hear him? Go right ahead. Don't give a fuck. Okay? Because we all see as clearly as you can see what's going on. Ever since Lenny had been there, ever since Lenny has gone, and, as, and, 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 and ever since Jason Garrett is still there. And you can hear from D Law, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Law Nation, Vosh, I mean, not Vosh, because Vosh, I don't know what's up with Vosh. I love Vosh, I watch Austin show all the time. But Vosh, he's up, he's heavy with uh, Carl Williams, who sucks. He's, he, he makes it, he, matter of fact, it was him last year before they fired Lenny telling everybody that Lenny Han's doing a good job. So, come on. Come on, just, you know, I, can't go, I can't go with him. But the rest of them see this, all right? And Dak ain't no perfect quarterback, just like any other quarterback in the league is not perfect. He make mistakes and stuff like that. But boy, I'm going to tell you something. He ain't lose that game at all. It was nothing him that he did, okay? They could not stop him for nothing in the passing game. They couldn't stop the fuck of those, those receivers they had, or the tight ends they had, the tight ends out there. They couldn't stop them for shit. Old man Whip was killing them for a few, for a few, for a few uh, passes. He dropped some. He dropped a few passes early on in the game, which cost him a first down. So, but I'm not gonna blame him because he ain't gonna be perfect either. Okay, so the game was winnable. In fact, we were ahead 21 to 20 at one point, and guess what? The defense let us down again, and they allowed them to come right back and score the eight points, a touchdown and two point conversion. They let them do it. You know what I'm saying? They let them do it. So I, you know, no, 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 no. People tell me, you're going to buy and play both sides. Go fuck yourself. Because the slow start is a slow start that means on both sides. If, you, if the offense is a slow start, that's fine, fine. That's fine with me. So if the defense doesn't give up any points or maybe three points or something like that, then that's good. But if you're giving up first two possessions to the opposition, 14 fucking points, that's a pretty goddamn slow start. Stop being stupid. They've been doing it all season, even with the goddamn Jets. So give me a break, all right? They talk too fucking much instead of playing. All right? It's a difference in coaching, man. I'm telling you, I want to see Jason Garrett gone so bad. Gone so bad. I'm willing just to ride out this season the rest of the way and see what happens. Instead of just just moving to the, the, um, the universe and putting it out there. 
the Cowboys will make be victorious and the Cowboys will make it to the postseason. Okay? They let them play out because I know Dak Prescott has the heart of a fucking lion like no other quarterback in this league. Okay? No other quarterback can match him. All right? So, so his stats prove it. His ability to lead this team prove it. Okay? And then C now, which is why they made him second best quarterback in the league so last, last week, PFF, and whoever else. Would do with it. C now, his leadership skills. See now why he, he he's been he's improved every year. Now why he's better than all the rest, especially in the NFC and especially the NFC East. He's the best quarterback. Okay. Now Russell Wilson had a fantastic game last night. I love that game. That was a, that was one of the best games you ever see. Between, it was a battle between him and Garoppolo. But let me tell you something. The Seattle Seahawks pulled it out because Garoppolo made too many fucking turnovers. He's not what you think he is. Okay. He got some talent. That's for damn sure. But he's nowhere near a Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson. Gave up a critical, critical uh, interception. They almost lost the game because of it, but the defense held. And then they, and, um, they missed the field goal. But I'm just telling you, even Pete Carroll is a better coach than J is, uh, Jason Garrett. Okay? Even you know who was a better coach than Jason Garrett? Huh? The, the, um, the guy, uh, McCarthy, he used to uh, coach the damn Green Bay Packers. He was a better coach than Garrett. You understand? Garrett just continues... To do shit like as like he did the other night, gets the Vikings. He told the, the uh, special teams of a player, I forgot who it was, but I don't remember pretend, pretend it was. Uh, you know what I mean? To do a, a do a, uh, a safety catch, you know, like the, uh, a catch call, fair catch and shit. When he had at least fifteen yards, at least fifteen yards in front of him, nobody around him, he could have easily picked up 15, 20 yards. And and what what, what would have changed it then? Right on the left, left, left side of the hash mark. He could have made it. was nothing there. So he just stood there because Jason Garrett told him to do a fair catch, and that's it. How many times have we done a ball around from a fair, from fair catch? How many fair catches have we caught this year? So who was so special about the special teams that they're not even trying to run the fucking ball anyway? Now, all I see is fair catches. That's all I see. It's this team, man. This team, this team is special in itself in full, full view. But when you look in the full mirror, you see everybody else behind them. You know why? Because they keep making mistakes up front. And that's, the, that's coaching. That's coaching. So, Jason Garrett, you know, uh, uh, whether you win or get to the postseason, I want to see you gone, man. I want to see him gone, bro. Okay, because I know that the way it sounds, like, the way it feels right now, we make the postseason. We may even win the wild card game. But we're not winning the division the way this man coaches. We're not. We, we may not be able to survive Jason Garrett, bro. That's the scary part about this season so far. It's showing me. We may, we may survive some other things, but we, we may survive a goddamn a, 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 a earthquake, a volcano blast or something, a fucking nuclear strike, but we ain't going to survive no fucking Jason Garrett. That's a fact, okay? <laughs> fact, bro. We may, we may survive a goddamn economic collapse, <laughs> but we will not survive Jason Garrett. He's got to go, all right? And the sad part about this is that the guy won three, two, won two postseason games in his whole career. Po two, he'd been to three and only won two postseason games in his whole career, and it's only been wild card. Never won the division round once. So we're talking about going to the Super Bowl. This guy can't get out of the fucking wild the division round. So I have no confidence in him. None. I'm sorry, but let's ride it out. He's our coach, so you got to support him no matter what because he's because he's really cute Cowboy fans. Let's ride it out. Let's all to it. So we got seven games left with five and four. The guy, if he's, if he's so miserable, here's the thing. He's so desperate that that game, when he was stuck, he, he, he had his kicker kick a, try to kick a 57, 58 yard field goal. I think that was unnecessary. Why did I just kick it back? And see what they had. Won't, don't reveal what you're doing. And that's what he did. Reveal what he was doing by kicking that goddamn, uh, trying to get that field goal. And of course, Maher missed it. As he missed every fucking field goal in every game he's played. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I'm not going to be hard on Maher because I don't see no other kicker in the NFL who can kick 60 yarders. Okay? He can, six, he can kick a 60 yarder better than he can kick a, a 40 yarder. And that's sad, okay? They got to get that boy in practice until he fucking falls asleep on the field. Because he's crazy. He got to get that shit right, bro. So, we're going to need our kickers. We're going to need everybody on deck for the rest of this season, man.
Everything. But, God, I hope we can survive Jason Garrett. That's it, y'all. The lyrical molesting is taking place Fucking with B.I.G. it ain't safe I make your skin chase Rashes on the masses Bumps and bruises Blunts and land cruisers Big Papa smash fools Bash fools Niggas mad because I know the cash rules Everything around me too